do my hair toss. Check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Good morning, guys. That sounds really loud because it's really echoey right now, but it is 5.30 and I am about to go to work. So I usually don't work weekends, but this weekend is a cheer competition, so I really wanted to work that. So yeah, here is my fit. But today I'm taking you guys with me on a weekend vlog. I don't know if it's gonna be two days or one because I have nothing going on tomorrow. I really have nothing going on today either, but apparently you guys all really like the last vlog, so. Okay, so I have this thing of 72 K-cups. So every morning I just go in and pick a random one. So this morning I got this Tully's Hawaiian blend. And then I brew my coffee. Every single morning I do 10 ounces and strong. And then I also take these vitamins every day. So here is my morning setup. This is also pretty much my everyday morning setup, except I go through phases in what I like to eat as my meal. This week I've been eating bagels with cream cheese, but I ran out of bagels and cream cheese. So I'm doing peanut butter toast for the weekend. And then of course I have my black coffee. If I'm drinking it right then and there, I will put two ice cubes in it. But if not, I'll just let it kind of cool down on its own. So then I just sit here, eat my breakfast, drink my coffee, and play my daily Sudoku challenge. Whew, guys, it has been a morning. Actually, it was really fun working, and then I got in my car and had one mile left, and the gas station was over a mile away. So I was really terrified, and as I pulled up, it hit zero. But we're here now. I don't know if you can see, but thank God. So now I'm gonna go home, eat some lunch, change and then go to the mall maybe i am finally back home i changed tops but i kept my same pants and shoes on because i really like these new pants they're business pants but they're really comfy and now i'm just heating up some cauliflower nochi for lunch with marinara sauce and oh my gosh my eyes they're so dark underneath I didn't even re realize so this is my lunch and I'm just gonna go sit on the couch now on my phone and eat it so I decided I am gonna go I'm gonna make myself another coffee and this one is the Newman's own so let's get that started got my two ice cubes so here we are at this van festival. Buses and vans. Buses and vans. Box trucks. Box trucks, all inclusive. Yeah. With some fun things to, I don't know, do. Fun things to do. Really, really <laughs> a lot of dogs. These people, you gotta check out the inside of this one. It's like a, I don't even know how to describe it, it's just incredible. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Bridget. I'm out here at the bus expo. Um, we're just looking at people's homes. It's pretty crazy. Here's an example of one of the buses we're in. So this one's not, not done, done yet. yet. But there's, I think they're gonna have a lot of room for activities. So now, we're in an example of a finished one. So my thinking was, oh, I'm just gonna make a... Oh, it's like a little so farmhouse bath. Which is great. But when you boot oh, up, yeah, I kind of really like this one. So I didn't think that through very well. See, that's it was so cute. <gasps> oh, look at these cuddling cats. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is so cute. Wood stove again. Oh, look at the sink. The mountains are so earthy. Now we're in a little hut. Call this one the gypsy wagon. This actually converts into a double bed. Thank you. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> it's kind of a mood. Not my mood, but a mood. <laughs> Let's see. Wow. I'm getting a fleet of buses. <laughs> one for tailgating, one for living, cold weather, warm weather. 
I'm trying to think, you know, maybe a whole, maybe a seasonal one like this. <laughs> what other seasons would you do? Could do a Christmas, Christmas bus. Christmas bus. All right, Monica yeah. And Monica bus, you know. <laughs> travel Shaped like around, a giant menorah. Travel around to all the <laughs> nice little synagogues that don't have. Oh, look, yeah. The other yeah, so as you can see, the guys are all still having conversations. Bridget has left the. Guys, Devin's curious. I was gonna say Bridget has left the building. curious. You gotta leave. This is my personal favorite. Maybe, unconfirmed if this is the right one or not. It is. They have a sonogram framed. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god, the baby's in there. <laughs> Swag. Okay, so I'm leaving now. It's about 2.30. I have to go back to work at 9 p.m. But that was so cool and I'm so glad I did end up going despite the fact I'm not as tired because I finished my coffee, but I could definitely <laughs> go to sleep. Good morning, y'all, or rather, good night, because it is 7.30 p.m. I just took a three-hour nap. I was supposed to wake up at 5.30, but I kept sleeping, and I had work till, or at, nine tonight, but I got someone to cover because I'm seriously so tired, and I have done nothing since I got home. And I said I need to do schoolwork and I also need to work out because I only have 10 exercise minutes and my February challenge is to have 64 every day. Good morning. It is 9.30 and I slept in until 9.15 which is the longest I've slept in in basically since 2020 started. So, yeah, I got nine hours of sleep last night. It was amazing. And now I'm making eggs for breakfast. So, yeah. Here we go. I warmed up some olive oil spray. I went through a phase when I was, I don't know, maybe a sophomore in high school, or not in high school, in college, where I would eat scrambled eggs a lot. And I liked them then. So, we're going to try it out again today. So here is my final product, just two eggs, some Mexican cheese, and everything bagel seasoning. And I am having water instead of coffee this morning since it is almost 10. I am back. I went upstairs to change after I finished Sudoku. I'm in all white. I am gonna do a 15 minute morning yoga sesh and then I'm going on the treadmill for 20 minutes to do a run, so. Yeah, I would film it, but I might look fat when I'm doing yoga, so. Hi guys, I am shaking the camera because my hands are so shaky. Um, I'm dead from that run. It was terrifying. I did 23 minutes, it was 2.3 miles. I impulsively decided to just box dye my hair today because I pretty much did everything else I needed to do today. Except I do still need to go to the gym, but it's only three o'clock, so I still have a couple of hours. But yeah, I was really bored and I was about to take a shower and I was like, you know what? Let's dye my hair because I had this box that I bought I guess three months ago that I was going to dye my hair with and I didn't I just kept putting it off and then today I was like, you know what? It's time. I don't really even know why I bought it if I bought it to go lighter or darker I'm guessing it's darker. So I guess we'll see soon So here is the final product. It is darker than my natural hair but that's what I thought anyways. Now I'm in the car with Becca. I don't think she's ever made an appearance in a vlog or cooking with Christina video, but this is I my sister. Once. I was in the background, if you go back. Oh yes. Do you know what I was making that week? No. <laughs> okay, well, this is my sister and we are going to, where are we going? Florida Temple Cheer for Beta Bring It On practice. Christina is basically like, 
uh, the assistant, assistant coach, coach and alternate backspot base flyer all flyer mostly we had a very successful practice went full out a couple of times i didn't vlog because well it was just way too serious i had to do a lot of stuff but this is the end of my weekend and thank you so much for watching as always give this a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another cooking with Christina again, even though this wasn't a cooking video. But I feel like people like the vlogs more, so I decided to try one out when I wasn't doing something fun. Anyway, I think my food is exploding in the microwave, so I'm going to go get that now, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye!